Crossing over from the world of Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero has made his way into the roster of Injustice 2. And if you're looking to learn how to do these combos and more, take a look at the button notation guide seen here, and then sit back because I'm about to teach you all about the Lin Kuei in this new best way to play. As always, let's start off with Sub-Zero's special moves. Sub-Zero's iconic Ice Ball behaves a little bit differently in Injustice 2, namely in the fact that it doesn't freeze the opponent unless you enhance it with a bar of meter. One very important thing to know about it is that the enhanced version can go through other projectiles, which makes it valuable when trading against other slow projectiles because even if you get hit, they'll be frozen in place and ready for a combo. Of course, Sub-Zero also has his Slide, which is a low-hitting attack that sends the opponent flying over Sub-Zero in the opposite direction, which makes it very useful in combination with his character trait. But more on that later. The enhanced version does extra damage and puts the opponent a full screen away. It's also a great wake-up option as it's invincible on startup. His Ice Burst is a solid maneuver that can end combos and blast an enemy away. And when enhanced, it gives Sub-Zero a great dashing attack that is plus on block, which means you can continue with the pressure. Polar Puncture is a command grab that serves several purposes. First and foremost, it's a true command grab, which means that it cannot be blocked, and also it can't be comboed into on a standing opponent. However, it can be enhanced to freeze the opponent to start a combo, or it can be used to catch opponents in a juggle for a big damage combo ender. Finally, Sub-Zero can use his Air Frost Hammer to kill his forward jump momentum and come crashing down to the ground. This is a great way to throw off opponents looking to anti-air predictable jump-ins. It's got a surprising amount of range and can be enhanced for more damage and knockback. What really makes Sub-Zero super dangerous is his trait, Ice Clone. Pressing the trait button leaves a clone that will freeze any enemy that touches it. There's a bunch of things to know about Ice Clones. First, it will block a single incoming projectile, which makes it a great way to protect yourself when trying to use Sub-Zero's slow ice ball from a long distance. Second, you can throw ice clones by walking up to them and pressing the trade button again. Third, you can blow up the ice clone with ice burst to increase the range of the explosion. Fourth, enhancing the trait will create an additional ice clone that can also be thrown. Fifth, you can place an ice clone and then slide into an opponent to cause them to go flying right into it. Sixth, you can't create an Ice Clone when the opponent is close enough to be frozen by it immediately. And finally, it's just a real, real good way to put pressure on a cornered opponent. Learn to love the Ice Clone and you'll make your opponents learn to absolutely loathe it. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's move on to some basic combos that you should know. Ability to Freeze is a dumb name for a combo, but it's a real good forward moving mid combo string that ends with a throw that can be used to put an opponent into the corner. Chill Out has great range and is low on the second hit, which makes it very valuable as a combo starter. But be aware that the first hit is high, so if the opponent ducks, you can expect to get hit before the second hit comes out. Hailstone is a quick three hit combo that surprisingly ends with an overhead and can combo into a special move after the third hit. Cold Encounter is Sub-Zero's main low hitting combo that ends with a knockdown. Either Ice Ball after the second hit for a combo, or hit the knockdown and place a clone down for a setup with either a forward three or a slide. Now let's put it all together for some advanced combos. Back two, three, enhanced ice ball. Back three, jump two, jump two, forward two, two, polar puncture. This is Sub-Zero's main bread and butter combo. Note that you can start it with the first two hits of any of his basic combos and you can end it with a 1-3 throw instead of the polar puncture for slightly less damage if you want to keep the opponent in a corner. With a clone up, slide, forward 3, jump 2, forward 2, 2, polar puncture. Make sure you're always threatening with a clone and slide when you get a hard knockdown because this combo leads to big, easy damage. If they start blocking low on wake up, you can threaten them with this next combo, forward 3, Jump 2, Forward 2, 2, Polar Puncture, Enhance, Back 1, 1, Down 3. You can end this combo with something like a Back 2, 3 slide, but I personally like ending it this way because you can continue pressuring with the clone. In the corner, Forward 3, Back 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, Polar Puncture, Enhance, Forward 3. 
After the combo ends, you can drop another clone and threaten with either a slide or another forward three to repeat the combo again. Like I said, Sub-Zero is nasty in the corner with his ice clone. Sub-Zero is a dangerous character to fight against with his tricky clone setups, fast hitting low slide that can now lead to big damage if combined with his clone, and his amazing forward three overhead that can punish people who are too wary of his slide. On the downside, his slide is very punishable. He's extremely meter dependent for his damage, and outside of his hammer, which can be reacted to, he's got no overhead combo starters. All the same, he's quickly become one of my favorite Injustice 2 characters, and hopefully with this video, you've come to learn a little more about how he plays. Thanks so much for watching everyone, if you enjoyed this video, check out my previous guides on the Flash and Red Hood linked right here. My name is Mitchell Saltzman, you can find me at JurassicRabbit on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.